Hello there everybody and welcome to Try New Things, where today I'm standing here in front of my cornfield, or what used to be my first cornfield. Not sure if you can see it in the video yet, but I'll give you a closer look. But if you're checking out this video, chances are you're having the same experiences as I'm having. Uh, or hopefully you're, you're trying to prevent having the same experiences I'm having. So a few months ago I planted uh, some corn here out on the TNT farm. And I've been watching it grow ever since. It's been doing a fantastic job. I was so proud. But every couple days the stock would be knocked off. And uh, I didn't know the reason why. So eventually I put up this, this little fence here thinking that would do the trick. And then I'd come out a couple days later and a whole bunch of corn was down. So I put up uh, a field cam. I needed to know what was going on. And so here's a shot or two uh, from that field cam. So what I found out is I've got a raccoon problem. There's a family of at least four and they are devastating my corn. Not sure if it's too late yet or not, but I want to try something else. So last night on my way home from work, I stopped at Tractor Supply, picked up this solar charged electric fence kit. And what I'm intending to do today is put in a really low electric fence all the way around my corn and see if I can salvage anything from this year. It, again, it's probably too late for me for this year. Hopefully it's not too late for you. But uh, yeah, I wanna get this in and give it a try so that next year I'll, uh, I'll, I'll know that I'll have to put up an electric fence much earlier than I did this year. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's, uh, let's go and install this electric fence, shall we? Before I get too carried away with the installation video, Take a look at the mess those raccoons made. My God, they're destructive. Talking to a friend of mine, Larry says, well, if you've got raccoons, you're gonna lose every ear of corn. Larry, I wanna to try to prove you wrong and save three or four. But let's go ahead and uh, let's start wiring this thing up. So to start with, I picked up these plastic fence posts that you could just stand on the bottom and shove them into the ground if it's not too rocky. And my intentions are to put in a wire at about six inches off the ground and another one at 12. Now I know my next problem will probably be deer, but uh, they're going to jump over anything I put up out here anyway. First of all, I got to try to address my raccoon problem. So I've gone ahead and started wiring up the bottom one. So I'm going to finish that now and then we'll uh, move on to doing the connections and stuff. All right, time to show you my final setup of the American Farm Works electric fence driven by solar that I'm using out here on my, what's left, my humble little corn patch. So you'll see the, uh, the solar box has two connections, one for ground, which is very important, and one to the fence. Now, I have very rocky soil so I elected to go with two ground rods, or actually it's one ground rod cut in half, because driving those into the ground here was a freaking bear. But I got my ground rods in, hopefully that does the trick. Use some uh, little hose clamps to make sure I maintained a good connection. And then over here, not sure if you'll see it, but I've got the wire twisted around the bottom wire, up to the second wire at a foot, twist it around, follow that wire up, and it connects to the box. All right, everybody. The name of this channel is Try New Things for a Reason because we do a lot of that here at the TNT Farm. That's part of the fun. It's trying something you've never done before. But when you try new things, you make mistakes and you learn from it. So growing the corn uh, 
first time doing it and thought I was doing a great job but I didn't account for all the factors out here and one of those factors being obviously raccoons that have come in and and laid waste to at least 80% of my corn so lesson learned hopefully I'll be better prepared for next year uh, with putting up electric fence after I, I get the corn planted and it starts coming up through the ground but hopefully uh, you you've taken something from this video learned a little bit from it uh, don't be intimidated uh, and don't get discouraged if uh, you run into an obstacle just come up with a new solution but anyway I always appreciate you checking out my videos. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them below. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if I get any shots on the camera of these uh, little critters trying to get in now that it's electrified, I'll throw them in right after this. Until next time, bye-bye.